So my GTA chums, there is a lot of discounts on war stock about time as well after the drought we've had. Kalanji tank is great, the Kalanji tank. A cool is discounted here, 1.8 million. I uh, assume I've got the discount on that one. And the barrage is also decent, uh, 1 to 1.4 million. That might, that might be the, the better discount for the land vehicles because that is good fun. But we're going to look at a, a cooler today. Volatile is there as well. If, that's one for the collectors though. This is one for PvP. And so is that one, the uh, the old hunter. So if you've already bought that, then you might want to consider buying this as well, maybe. I think this is better than the hunter for solo players. I think the hunter, you want somebody in the cannon to really make it an absolute beast. So we're going to upgrade it with everything that needs upgrading, so get the armor. Explosive bombs will be good enough. Yes, it's got bombs. Race handling is, well, I'd say it's essential eventually, but try it with standard handling first. We've not put a livery on because I think it looks best as, as stock in this black look. But let's put a camo on and we'll see what we can do with it. So, urban warrior. I mean, an urban camo looks good. Digital camo, I like that. Oh, I'm always a fan of the naval geometric. So it's going to be that, I think. Tartan, free. Uh, naval geometric. So, um, respray. Can we change the, the colours? Let's try matte colour. <clears throat> so this is colouring in that what is currently a black colour, which looks decent, but maybe we can make it a different kind of blue. Midnight blue looks nice. Yeah, I think midnight blue. There it is, okay. And then secondary colour, look at the matte colours. Oh, that's colouring up the gun pod, so black is probably where you want to go with that. I don't, f I don't think we want to be too imaginative. Maybe midnight blue as well, but I mean, I suppose that goes with it. Yeah, why not? Okay, primary weapon weapons. You can put the um, dual 50 cal on um, if you've unlocked it at the bunker. I think that's a bunker unlock. Secondary weapons. You're going to want actually missile barrage or that, isn't it? It's one or the other. So I'm going for the the, the homings um, because well, they're better, aren't they? Homing missiles. No secondary weapon. Wow. Why would you do that? Um, okay, so that is it. Exit the hangar and we are going to fly. <coughs> I'm in a uh, group session here. First off, press H to put to get your guns out. Press H to put them away and you're in stealth mode. Let's put the gear up as well. So we're in stealth mode now. Nobody can see us on the radar, but they, they can lock on to us still. The missiles will lock on. What's going on there? Go away. You can tell by the your mini map, it's flashing, which indicates that you are in stealth mode. So some sucker there has a uh, bounty on their head. Let's have a look at them, see uh, if we can... Uh, have I even got the homie missiles on? Can't remember. Let's just have a look. There we go, homie missiles. So a bounty, and we got it. We got the bounty. There we go. Just tell them that you're welcome. Because we just took the bounty off the head. Oh. oh. <coughs> oh, that's what we want to do. There's a <coughs> Mark II oppressor. And we're going to try and jinx them. It can take a few missiles there. He's out of the air, which is nice. <clears throat> so that's why you uh, take down the oppressor. Oh, come on, we're losing power. That's no good, is it? Halfway through a video, but there we go, that is... Gear down, we're going to do a kind of forced landing. We're just going past our chum we just took out. Maybe they'll give us a ride. Right, we've selected machine guns next to test these double machine guns out. There you go, we've got double. As you can tell, my aim is awesome. It's probably alright. Need a big target, like a truck. Not exactly blowing stuff up, like it's not an, it's not an explosive cannon, basically. I, I never use it. Doesn't seem great, does it? This is a double one as well. So the single one's even worse than this. Half as good. 
could be useful, you know. Oh, he's knocked his truck off. Also, you've got the bombs. So press it and hold E, we'll get the bombs out. Press R for the bombing camera as well, just in case you want to do that. Don't know what that's hitting, but there we go. Oh, we've got the police. Um, let's change that view because it's making me a bit sick. <coughs> let's see how many police we can get. good bomber, it's a good little bomber, right, and notice we've got three stars there, if we put our, um, let's, let's get, actually press E again to close the bomb bay and then press H, and we get two stars, so as soon as you go into stealth mode it drops your stars to two, no matter how many stars you've got, so if I had five stars, I'd be down to two, so losing police is a lot easier with it. Next, alright, so let's talk a little bit about the agility of this wee beastie. Um, I'm in silent stealth mode now. People can still lock onto me, as you can tell. There's some pleb locking onto me from behind there. Kind of annoying, but there you go. Um, but you can quickly sneak behind a building. There's also a jet griefer in the area, so he's probably going to blow me up with his explosive cannon. You can't stop that if they see you. Um, but it's a decent is it helicopter agility-wise. Um, it's well worth considering. It's a, I think it's the best helicopter in the game because, you, unlike what I did earlier, you can sneak up on the back of people and just blow them to smithereens and they don't they don't like that generally and um, when they're in a presser mark 2 but that's uh, that's what occurs isn't it when you're in a presser mark 2 so anyway this I, I just I just like this it's my, it's my favorite helicopter so I'd recommend you buy it if you can afford it and there are going to be other things that you're going to buy for your to survive in GTA such as in Imani tech car that is going to be essential I'd say ahead of this because you you they can't lock onto you and blow you up, basically. Um, that is one problem with this, that they can lock onto you. Um, it, and if they see you visually, they can chase you and gun you down. Um, so it's obviously not an invisible helicopter, but it is decent. It, it is quick. One other thing I didn't mention is it fits four people in it. Um, and it looks good as well. It's a, it's a Russian helicopter. It's Russian stealth. Excellent. You need to buy it. Anyway, it's, I'd say it's one of the essentials of this week, um, along with probably the Pariah is probably the other one because it's it's such a fast car um, and it's such a classic car in GTA and such good value. Um, so for other reasons, PvP-wise, you might want to consider Kalanji tank, but I'd say I don't really value get as much value for that PvP compared to this because this has a sneaky stealth mode and it's much better value than the Kalanji and you can get around the map you can do missions with it and you got the um, you can fit four players in it doing stealth so you can go about your business without getting messed around with in a group session so for all those reasons you want to buy it maybe not this week if you can't afford it but at some point in the future you want to buy this helicopter but if you found it useful you know what to do Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. If you are playing Ghost Duty, give me your comments on this helicopter. Is it the best? It's, is it better than the Hunter? Yes, it is. Because I say so. Have a good one.